Hi, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. In this screencast, we're actually going to start budgeting and doing a month's budget. Up to this point, we've set up our accounts. Uh, we've also started allocating our existing balances. We have $4,200 total between our checking and savings accounts that we need to allocate. And we allocated $3,000 of that. We were saving furniture, so we put it in there. The rest of it, we're going to let roll over to next month. So you have $1,200 here that goes into your need, you need a buffer, you need a budget buffer. And that $1,200 rolls over to next month, so it's actually available to budget before we've even received any sort of income. So already we're building our cushion and uh, our, our, our buffer, I'll use that term, and so that we're getting a month ahead. We're not completely a month ahead. Let's say our uh, average monthly expenses are $2,500. bucks. Uh, we are not quite there yet, but we're getting close. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, with a checking account, let's go there, and let's say that we've received our first paycheck and it's an inflow of $2,000. Well, we're going to categorize that. Since we do need it this month, we're going to categorize it as available this month. And uh, you know, put the payee, employer XYZ. And let's save it. Now let's go over to our budget and see how that affected it. You can see now, oh, we put it actually in March. And so it's showing up in March. Let's actually put that for April. <laughs> Sorry about that since we're pretending that it's April now and received our check. Okay. Now we go back to the budget and we see that there's $2,000 in addition to our $1,200 buffer. So we now have $3,200 to, bu to budget. Now this is where we refer to our master budget and we go back and we see how the, the uh, prioritization was on those accounts and we start allocating money for that. Now let's say again that uh, you know tithing is a priority. Let's say we do 10% tithing and we want to do that first so it's $200. Uh, let's say that we're running out of groceries and we need to get that done urgently. So let's take out $200 there. In any case, you get the idea. Um, if there's a bill that needs to be paid, let's say your, your health insurance is coming up and that's due on the fifth of the month, uh, you need to make sure you allocate money for that. So let's say that's uh, $200. So you start allocating all of your funds. And as you do that, your available money to budget goes down. And you want to do that until it's zero. Every time, whenever you're budgeting or whenever you receive a paycheck, you want to get it down to absolutely zero. Now the one exception to that is if you do want to build up your buffer and you've already budgeted everything out and you have surplus left then you can let that roll over to your but to your buffer. In fact in this scenario if that's all we had to budget for uh, you know we'd have a total of twenty six hundred dollars available to budget and if we did, didn't budget anymore we'd let that roll over to next month to May and would actually almost have well, we would have a full month of expenses ready to go. Uh, but I'm assuming that you're probably going to need most, if not all, the money, and so go ahead and budget it out. Be sure to keep as a priority um, to budget some power money as well, and uh, we'll tell you how to use that in the future. So go ahead and budget out your income now. And that's it. Uh, we'll talk to you at the next screencast. Bye-bye.